In this example problem, we're going to examine several different columns uh, to see whether we need to consider slenderness effects or not. The first column we see here is a 20 inch by 20 inch sway column that's fixed at one end. So we have a sway column that's fixed at one end and free at the other. So this case gives us a K of 2.0, an effective length factor of 2.0. Uh, we can find our R for our rectangular section is equal to 0.3 times H, 20 inches. So for us, our R is going to be 6 inches. And then we can find our KL over R ratio. So 2.0 times 12 inches times 12 inches per foot divided by 6 inches is equal to 48 inches. So our limit for ACI is 22 for sway columns. So we need to consider slenderness because we're greater than our limit. So consider slenderness. Next, we'll look at a 20 inch by 20 inch non-sway column that's fixed at both ends. So a non-sway column that's fixed at both ends is going to give us a K or an effective length factor of 0 0.5. Our R for a rectangular section is equal to 0.3 times H, which is again going to be equal to 6 inches. And then we can find our K L over R to be equal to 0 0.5 times 12 feet times 12 inches per foot divided by 6 inches is going to give us a KL over R here of 12. So we can compare this then to our ACI limit. Um, so we're going to assume that M1 over M2 equals 1 and for single curvature this is going to be negative 1.0 in in our uh, limit expression um, so then we'll have 34 plus 12 times negative 1 which is going to be equal to 22 and uh, an additional limit this needs to be less than or equal to 40. Um, so we can see that our 12 is less than 22 which is also less than 40 um, so no slenderness needs to be considered. Our next example is a circular column with a diameter 20 inches. It's braced on both ends and we have 200 kip foot and 100 kip foot opposing end moments. We can see that uh, we're allowing rotation at the ends so it's pinned. So for a pin pinned case our K is equal to 1.0. We can also see that our R for a circular column is going to be 0.25 times D, so 0.25 times 20 inches, uh, which will be equal to 5 inches. So then we can find our K L over R to be equal to 1.0 times 12 feet 
times 12 inches per foot divided by 5 inches is going to give us a KL over R of 28.8. We need to compare this uh, to our ACI limits now. Um, so our M1 over M2 is going to be 100 over 200. or 0 0.5 and because we are single curvature we're going to plug in a, neg a negative 0.5 into our expression so then we'll have 34 plus 12 times negative 0.5 is equal to 28 which is less than 40 so we're okay there, and our 28.8 is greater than our um, 28, so we need to consider slenderness. So this column is also a circular column with a D equal to 20 inches. So it's the same column as before. And we have the same end conditions, pin, pin. So we have also a K equal to 1.0. Uh, so then our KL over R is going to be the same as in the previous uh, example, 28.8. Uh, our end moments have now changed direction though. So now we have double curvature. So for double curvature, our M1 over M2 is going to equal 0 0.5 and it's positive for uh, double curvature. So we can plug this value into our uh, ACI limit. So we have our ACI limit is 34 plus 12 times 0.5. And this needs to be uh, less than or equal to 40. So uh, 34 plus half of 12 is 40. So our limit here is 40. So we can see that our 28.8 is less than 40, so we have no slenderness. So we don't need we don't need to consider slenderness here. Finally, we have the same circular column with the same diameter, and we're braced again with rotation allowed at the ends. So we have again a k uh, equal to 0.5. Or, or sorry, a k equal to 1.0. Uh, so we'll have the same k l over r of 28.8, um, except now we have different end moments. So now our m1 over m2 is 1.0. We're double curvature, so we're positive. And we can plug this now into our uh, ACI expression. So our ACI expression, 34 plus 12 times 1.0 is going to equal 46. This needs to be less than 40. So our 40 controls. So we need our 28.8 less than 40. So we don't need to consider slenderness. And uh, that's how we check uh, several different columns to see uh, if we need to consider slenderness or not.